Hello and welcome to episode 42 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now I don't want to start this episode on a downer, but I have to say I'm finding it hard to recover from the disappointment of last season. It's really been playing on my mind, and I'm sure it will be on Gabby's too. It really does put in perspective how disappointing it must be for a footballer to work all season for a Premier League title and then lose it right at the end or on the last day or in the last minute of the season or obviously that's even more likely in a cup and uh, it, you know it must be disappointing I mean they're getting enough money to wipe those tears away at the end of the day I mean I don't feel massively sorry for them but our experience last season was like a microcosm of that and my gosh did it hurt and does it still sting yes it does and we started the season okay with that um, so we did start the season pretty well with City and uh, We've uh, already got our name in the top three of the goal rankings, going for that double golden boot, two golden boots in a row. That's got to be a minimum requirement. And then hopefully winning something with Man City. We are going to get to play in the Champions League, and the draw for that is just coming up. But before we get to that, we've got an away trip to the Midlands, and we're away at West Brom, so let's go and have a look at the sides. So as usual, we are starting and Gabi Guerra once again reunited. Uh, I'm a big fan, actually, of this midfield. This is looking good. I'm hoping that Guardiola will look to shake things up this season. And also, at the same time as shaking it up, be more consistent with the teams that he's playing. But shake it up in that, actually, this is a nice-looking midfield. Gundogan and Silver in the midfield is about as good as you can get for a midfield partnership. There's so much in those two incredible magicians. And then Sane and Bernardo Silva on the wings is good. Oxlade-Chamberlain at defensive midfield, uh, not ideal, but it'll be an interesting one. I don't think we necessarily need, like, a dedicated DMF. Although, actually, our defending wasn't that great last season. But anyway, anyway, still, I'm excited. Good back three. Edison in goal. And uh, Aguero on an upward arrow. West Brom. Uh, they've got Oliver Burke out on the right. Rondon up front. But this is a defence that we should be able to take advantage of. Let's get into it. Come on. So despite what I was saying about how disappointing last season was, if you are in need of a good news story, or just a smile, or something to raise your day, then just go and follow Gabby on Twitter in real life at the moment. He is having a lovely time at Santos. He just looks like a different man. He's happy, he's laughing, he's he's all over the you know, all over the place on social media with some really great videos. So he's worth a follow, and it's great to see he's doing so well. In this timeline, he has been doing well. This is almost an example of how his career could have gone had it gone a bit better. I feel he's got the talent. And uh, this season hopefully we can add a trophy to that. Bernardo Silva now. Into Oxlade Chamberlain. Gabby will find Oh, that's not a good Oh, it is a good ball. We went for David Silva. Aguero will hold this up. Gabby's made a good run here. Evans will come across. Strong defending from him. Bernardo Silva will have another chance to put the ball into the box. Here he is again. Not finding the ball. Bernardo Silva to the far post to Gabby. What sort of finish was that? I thought that was all over. That was incredible. I cannot wait to see that again. That had Karate Kid written all over it. I'd given up on that attack. Bernardo Silva looked to be going nowhere. Didn't put the ball in when we wanted it. But Gabby made an intelligent run to the far post. And uh, yeah, Bernardo Silva picked him out well. We said this would be an exciting midfield to play with. At this point, I was sort of over this attack. It looked like he'd gone nowhere. But Gabby then, looking for that first ball, didn't happen. Peeled off to the far post. And as it came in, I don't know what he's done there. But my word, is it special? Let's take another look at this. Dug out the cross. He took his sweet time over that. It's sort of backwards. I think that's off his left foot. That's incredible. First corner of the game here for West Brom, nine minutes in. Koyak, Gabby attacks it at the near post. He's up with Solomon Rondon. That's not a bad effort from the big centre forward. But, ah, oh, there it is, our good friend. Well, we know how deadly Gabby can be from these situations. He's making his trademark run now into the box. He's got ahead of Johnny Evans. Climbs for the header. And Aguero is there just to tap it in. And it's 2-0 here very early on at the Hawthorns. Man City starting the season in great form, in great goal-scoring form. Gabby, once again, completely unmarked. It's like he developed some sort of cloaking ability. Just as the corner taker's running up to hit the ball. Claudio Yakov, that's a lovely ball through to Rondon. 25 minutes gone here. First real chance for West Brom. Great save from Edison. The first time he's really been called into action. And, uh, yeah, they let Rondon ghost away there. Can't be allowing that. Great work here from West Brom. Flowing counter-attack as Matty Phillips will bring it forward into Neom. Lovely give and go. Matt Phillips now can surely get across into the box. He can. Rondon near post. Had a lot to do from that angle. But West Brom have got something about them in this one. They are two goals behind. Nearly at half-time. But yeah, they're fighting back. 
Nice ball down the line looking for Oliver Burke and the Scotsman will get there ahead of Leroy Sané. He's going to put a good ball into the box to Rondon. First header that Solomon Rondon has missed all game. Neom now in the left back position. Lovely ball in. It's well cut out in the end by Otamendi. This first half nearly over here at the Hawthorns and uh, yeah, it's been excellent. I've been very, very pleased. We have slightly dropped off after those first 13 minutes, but wow, two goals in a matter of five minutes. Gabby and then Aguero. Gabby's finish was something else. It really was a creative finish. So although we've had less possession, we have had more shots, and if we can keep this going, then we'll, we'll be fine. It's creating chances at the end of the day that's most important. Let's get into the second half. Jakob into Rondon. Rondon's looked dangerous so far. I feel like if he gets another chance, he's probably going to put it away. It's a great ball into Neom. He steps back inside, loops it up, looking for Solomon Rondon. Uh, well, that is incredible vision there from uh, from myself. I think we could all see, really, that Rondon had a goal in him. And, uh, yeah, there, there it was. Came true very quickly. And it was well worked from West Brom, actually. Neom finding himself a bit of space. Without Bernardo Silva really getting into that wing-back position and defending properly. Those are the sort of things that always happen. If I'm honest, I would say... It's this formation and the lack of wing-backs who can actually track back or who are willing to track back. It's probably what cost us the league and I imagine all the other cups and has cost us a goal there. Doesn't look like Guardiola's willing to change that though and until he does, we are always going to be liable to those sort of goals. Gabby's pulled out onto the wing now, receives the ball from Bernardo Silva, turns away from Neon. Can slip it down the line into Aguero. If Aguero can hold it up and find Gabby now, that's a lovely ball and not a bad effort. From Gabby as well. Love the way that Aguero is just happy to put those. Oh, that's really well won back. Now Gabby looks to get away from Livermore. Makes up for his mistake. Oh, that was close. Loved the build up there with Aguero. West Brom coming forward again here. It's Dawson. Tracked out wide by Vincent Company, but he gets the ball into Rondon. Excellent header there from the striker. Edison aware of the danger. Livermore now. Lovely ball into Rondon. He can take it down. And West Brom are back in this one. And the home side scoring twice now in the early part of this second half. And that's a beautifully weighted ball. And what a finish from Rondon. He's in great form today. We've dropped off. Jake Livermore now into Rondon. West Brom in the ascendancy here. Phillips inside to Jakob. Lovely ball. And now Rondon given space and time to turn. Oxley chamberlain with a challenge. But it's not a good one into Rondon again. He'll have another go. Very similar chance to the last one. And, uh, Man City here showing some of the frailties that may well have cost us the league. Ball into Rondon, Otamendi, David Silva closing down. Phillips back to Livermore, Gondoan challenging. They still have it. Phillips looking a physical specimen in this game so far. Goes back to Krikowiak. They have got a strong side. He steps away from Aguero with a beautiful touch. Silva gets the challenge in but still not cleared. West Brom 80 minutes in here. Are looking like the side most likely to go on and win this. Phillips again showing great strength. Rondon, great hold-up play. Away from John Stones. Allowed to get back inside. And still they keep coming. Phillips now. Barely even defended against. Oof. We still can't get it back. Oliver Burke into Rondon. He'll turn. Got to keep that from going out. Oh, my God. Oh, and Gondoan loses out to Rondon. He's been an absolute beast today. Gondoan... Oh, he just can't get it back. Nothing's falling now. And Oliver Burke will take on Leroy Sané. Great tackle there from Sané. And now Gabby. Has to go back. Only really got Aguero to aim for here. Steps away from Jakob. Now into the box. Still no one there. Has to go all the... Ah! Oh! Was not meant to happen. And there it is. Full time here at the Hawthorns. Can't believe it. Giving away a two-goal advantage in that second half with a, a really well taken double from Solomon Rondon. We saw it coming. He was giving those three centre-backs a lot of trouble throughout the game. Once again, as we did in the last season, showing that Man City really do have a soft underbelly and when tickled or poked, they just don't quite have enough. I don't understand. I mean, we, we were quite happy about this very attacking midfield, but was Oxlade-Chamberlain good enough? He Put in a lot of tackles, but was never really able to gain possession back. Oh, dearie me. The troubles are still there. They continue into this season. So not ideal, but still very early. All of the sides we're competing with, bar maybe Spurs, getting off to a perfect start. Oh, if we're going to be losing games like that from a position of two goals up, then we're not going to win the league. It's just not going to happen.
So the groups have been announced and a quick look. We're in Group G and wow, we've got Barcelona. That's not great, but I think RB Leipzig and Basel are actually not that bad of draws, really. I think we can probably count on a win against those two sides, although we have struggled in Europe. And then Barcelona, well, obviously that's going to be difficult, but a showpiece game for any side. And it's going to be really exciting. And that's, uh, that's also good. So it's Dybala who wins European Player of the Year. Uh, I think we probably had a shout for that, I would have thought. Golden Boot winner by a stretch. I guess we didn't win anything. I mean, that was the problem, wasn't it? So, second game of the episode. We're back at the Etihad and it's Swansea City. And as usual, as with any game, it has to be a win. Right, alongside Lacazette today. That could be an interesting change. Aguero, he's just not quite been working. I mean, he's still a willing runner. He's still, bless him, even at his age, uh, in the decline. He's still willing to uh, put in the miles for Gabby. You know, lay the ball into him, set him up. He's, he's very much the uh, dirt count. To our, I don't know, who was Fernando Torres, I guess. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a utility man up front for us. Poor Sergio, he's, he's fallen so far. He's finishing, not what it was. But it's not been working recently. Uh, I can't see Lacazette working much better, to be honest. But uh, hey, I mean, we, we should just keep scoring. I think that's probably the best idea. Toure in today, Delph, Sterling. I mean, it's completely different once again. It's disappointing there's no consistency. Big Tammy in the Swansea side, and then again, well, as was the case in the last game, a back line we should be getting some joy against. Um, we didn't really in the last one, can we today? So back in front of the home fans, a packed crowd here at the Etihad. They want blood today. They want blood. They want goals. They want humiliation. And uh, hopefully we can give it to them, because uh, we've had a fair bit of humiliation of our own recently. Leroy Fernow. That's a lovely ball out to Olsen. And the Swede will go back to Leroy for Lovely ball into Messer. If he can do something with this, pulls it back. Looking for... Sub... I... Go oh, oh, my God. Well, it would have been uh, really difficult to concede to X-Man City player Wilfred Bonny so early on. But he so nearly did there. Oh, Gabby looks to turn away from Bartley, but he's too strong. Oh, Gabby does well. And then pushes it wide to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Lacazette's made the run. Ex-Arsenal man into ex-Arsenal man. Slips it into Gabby. Steps back. It's got a B, surely. Oh, great save there. Is that Fabianski? Incredible save. Great work from Gabby. Great composure. Should have been 1-0. Tillotson into Carroll. Back to Fur. Lovely chip into a Giga A. Puts it back to Tammy Abraham, who finishes with ease. Ah, oh, for, for crying out loud. 20 minutes in and we're behind here. And we've got to say that was a good finish. And you've got to say that Swansea have put us under pressure. It's too easy. A Giga, I mean, that's a great ball in to a Giga raid. Just cuts it back. Big Tammy. Well, we know he's dangerous. That's a good assist, actually. And a very calm finish. Gabby backing into Olsen. Doesn't find the header or the second chance header. And now Bonnie into Olsen will find Messer wide. Oxlade Chamberlain scrambling to get back. In that wing back roll again. Messer turns, but it's a good ball into Abraham. <laughs> the acrobatic effort, not far off. Almost half an hour gone here, and Man City have not had enough chances, even slightly. But there's a good chance here for Lacazette to slip in. Gabby over the top. He's there ahead of Bartley. Gets it out of his feet. And that is a calm finish from the Brazilian. Under a lot of pressure. It was route one stuff, but it worked very, very well. Gabby timed his run perfectly. And the heart goes up. We love you all. We love all these Blues fans here in the Etihad today. Says Gabby with those, uh, just... Simple connection of two fingers. It's a good run and Lacazette found him well. He had Bartley tracking him. Fabianski decided to stay under a lot of pressure. It's maybe slightly scuffed. I don't want to say he didn't mean it. Let's take another look. Peeled off. Perfect run. Bartley caught out. We may be able to see from this angle as he's under pressure. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's inconclusive from that angle. But we love it. And it's one all. Oxlade Chamberlain inside to Gabby, picks it up on the halfway line. He's got a lot of attention here, steps back inside. Sees the ball available to Raheem Sterling, and he's pinged that beautifully. Cross field. Sterling now looking for Lacazette. And it is Alexander Lacazette. He could find Gabby Barkley. Bartley even with a good challenge. But Lacazette has found it back. Ball into Gabby now, turns back in. Can he finish? Outside of the boot, should have finished that with the right foot. It's lazy play to use his... Dominant foot in that situation. Oh, he's won it back, though. And that was too easy. Slips it into Lacazette. Lacazette back and looking for Gabby. It's good play. 
You've got to be looking for the link up. Couldn't quite find it. Should have been a goal somewhere in that though. 41 minutes in, nearly half time here. We've done well to play our way back into this, but we shouldn't be playing our way back into a game against Swansea. And it is half time here at the Etihad. Well, we're back into it. And it was uh, a decent goal in the end from Gabby. But we shouldn't be giving up possession again at home to Swansea City. I don't understand. Maybe Gabby's too direct. Maybe he's the problem. I don't know. But as long as we win, he's not the problem. But maybe it is the... Uh, uh, let's not get into this. Lacazette into Gabby. Just to turn and run at this defence. And just to find the ball out to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Into a better bit of space. Down the right-hand side. Now the Ox cuts back in and Messer wins it back. Too easily. Giving it away way too simply. And Oxlade-Chamberlain is fouled horribly there. That's got to be a yellow card. But this is not the end of the game that we were looking for. We needed more than this. It's going to be a long ball into the box now. Oh, Gabby sneaks in! <laughs> oh, that is a poacher's finish. And if that's the goal that wins this game, then you've got to give respect to him as just a pure fox in the box. I thought that was over. I thought we'd made the wrong run to begin with. Bartley tried to get it away, but Gabby snuck in, showing great determination. I mean, that is... Uh, you've got to be in the right place at the right time sometimes. Olsen down the line into Messer. He's found a bit of space here. 79th minute. Chips it in looking for Abraham. It's falling now to Routledge. Just puts it wide. And Wayne Routledge there could have drawn things level. Gabby under pressure. Just looking to take the sting out of things here. 90 minutes gone. Lacazette. Turns. Gabby's made the run. It's a good one. Ball in from Yaya Toure. <laughs> Nearly again. Pulled out the karate moves to chop that one in. But this game is over now. And it is Gabby's goals that will win us. Not our first home game of the season. I can't remember where the Leicester City game was. Might be our first or second game at the Etihad. We needed a win though just to keep morale up. And uh, we've done that. And it's Gabby's goals. He's won it for us. Turns away there. Finds Lacazette. He'll have a go. No, but it is 92 minutes gone here. And there we have it. A brace from Gabby was enough to win this one. But we did not look confident. And uh, it's shown more holes. The transfer deadline day only two days away. Will Guardiola be looking to upgrade this squad a bit? It's hard to see where you would, but maybe maybe we can. We're clearly not good enough. So there we have it. A win today. And how will that see us back into fifth? Interesting. It's Chelsea, United and Arsenal who are unbeaten so far. Both United and Arsenal yet to concede a goal. We've conceded four. Four goals. That's the highest amount of goals conceded in the top ten. That could be a problem. That could be a big problem. Gabby on five goals in three games, though. Once again, continuing his excellent ratio of goal scoring. We're up to 95% manager trust level as well. Guardiola loves us. There's no doubt about that. How much does he love this side? Is he going to flex his checkbook? It is the last day of the transfer window. It's going to be interesting to see what signings have been made in the Premier League. I don't know if we maybe need to progress time to the next game just to find out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this includes deadline day deals. I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't, actually. And uh, team of the month for August. Well, we're in there. As is Yaya Toure. That's interesting. I didn't know he'd contributed. Oh, it's beautiful to see Santi Cazorla in there as an Arsenal fan. What a player he is. What a shame that his career is essentially over. It's going to be hard to imagine him playing at this level again. But great to see him in the virtual world doing well. So anything of interest in here, Mares to Atletico Madrid. That's a good one. That's a good signing. I can sort of imagine that happening. Uh, Kalasinac and Lamina going to Chelsea. Ryan Fraser goes to Leicester from somewhere. Emre Chan moving back from Ajax to Liverpool. That's, uh, that's an odd one. Jack Wilshire making the move from uh, Spurs to Feyenoord, of course. That seems like a pretty reasonable one. Von Real to Schalke, but no, no, doesn't seem to be any Man City signings. Aspilicueta from Chelsea to United. That's a good signing. Asensio from Madrid to Barcelona. Come on. Come on, now you're being silly. But no, doesn't look like there are any Man City signings. And actually, probably the easier way of doing this would have just been to go in the game plan. Could have done that. Conventional. Oh no, we're, we're playing for Brazil at the moment. So we can't see. I don't think there has been any signings. Uh, Gabby, top of the goal rankings. Man City in fifth. It's not the best start ever. Hopefully we can get back into it in the next episode. I'll see you in a bit.